as my rental part, you know, of course I was in construction ever since the summer before I graduated high school. I worked building houses and I realized that's what I want to do the rest of my life. And so right when I graduated high school, my wife and I just got married. We've been married 47 years. I had just turned 18, wasn't 18 a month. We got married, so we had to put her through college and all that stuff. But anyway, I went to work at a cabinet shop for minimum wage and it gave me a nickel raise when I got married, you know, about two, three weeks after I went to work there. So one day we were on break and, uh, I told him, I said, you know, I guess, you know, I was just a kid, you know, 18 years old, married though, but I mean, I was young. I said, one day I want to build houses and they got the biggest laugh out of that. They thought that was funny. And so this is the story here to you. Fast forward it 20 years, I'm building so many houses, my cabinet man can't keep up. So guess who I hired? <laughs> I hired the guy that I'd work for. And every time I'd sign his check, I'd smile and I'd just think to myself, now who's laughing now? <laughs> that, that's kind of how my building came about. You know, I wanted to be a builder. I built for 31 years. I quit building houses in 2015 when I turned 60. I'm 65 now, of course. We always were flipping and remodeling and everything during that time, but also buying rentals. And But my rental, my path to rentals kind of started when I was putting my wife through school. I kept a rental property for other people, plus did remodeling on the side. And, you know, I kind of noticed, I said, there's something to this, you know, so it kind of piqued my interest. 1980, latter part of 80, 81, I read an article, I'm fixing to date myself in Reader's Digest. It was called <laughs> Beating Inflation with Real Estate. And it listed three books. And my mother asked me, she said, what would you like for Christmas? And I said, well, I'd like to get these three books because, you know, my wife was, had a wife, two kids, and really no extra money. And so she got me them books for Christmas. And that kind of started my journey of, you know, reading about real estate. And I bought my first rental in 1981. I bought my first house to flip in 1976. My wife and I Moved in it, fixed it up, and flipped it. We did three of them in less than two years and went from like a 700 and something square foot two bedroom house that was built before World War, uh, built right after World War II, to about a 2,000 square foot brick house, almost brand new, you know. So I'm thinking it may be something to this real estate. So I know it was kind of all over, but that's, you know, I've been doing it full time since 1984. I quit my job. I'd been to the University of Alabama in maintenance. I was a maintenance man out there for 10 years and remodeled on the side and flipped and bought rentals. I probably had five rentals when I left the university, but I come in one day and told my wife, I said, I'm fixing to build my first house. So I quit and it's what we've been doing ever since full time, 36 years. How many rental properties do you have now? Right now, I own 118. Jesus. Probably 180 have three, rentals. 18, 18. Probably have three more by the end of the month, so at least two. One, I'm going to probably flip. You know, if y'all go and look, in 2011, we had a really bad tornado here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and I had 26 houses totaled and a commercial building. So it took a little while you know, to start getting those back up and running again. And and the rentals was just kind of like my side thing, because like I said, I was a home builder and remodeler. I'm past president of the Home Builders Association here in my town. I was president in 2009, which was the worst time you could be president. And, uh, you know, I was remodeler of the year in 2005. So construction and real estate and rentals, is all I've ever done since I was 17.